Hello my purple banditos and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Glaze version. I'm Purple Rodri. Today we're gonna begin our adventure in a new region known as Tonid. So let's go ahead and get it started. Hello, welcome to the Tunut region. My name is Professor Willow, but most people just call me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as comparative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? And with that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and choose between the boy and the girl character. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the boy. All right, what's your name? And with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name. Hey, how's it going there? My name's Rodri, and that's what I'm gonna be calling our character. So let's go ahead and put that in. So it's Rodri, yes. Oh, you must be the Rodri I've heard so much about, right? I don't know, man. If it was from Nurse Joy, I don't know. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Hey, what, what, what are you doing in a place like this? I, I wasn't expecting anyone to come. I'll take you back this once and explain best I can, okay? Don't be scared. I'll make sure to get back you over safely. But the trip isn't fun at all. This is the right place. Uh, this is, but uh, how did you know where I live, man? I'll explain later. Somehow you managed to slip from your universe to mine from here. What the heck? It's a good thing you appeared so close to me or there'd be big trouble. Now that you've been there, there's nothing to stop you from slipping through again. What the heck is going on here? So apparently we slipped into another universe? With that, guys, we have took our first steps into the Tunid region. And if you guys are wondering, you can actually spell that backwards and get Donut. So, you know, Pokemon Glazed here, guys. Pokemon Glazed. Even Glazed Donuts. You know, I could go for a little bit of that. With that, though, let's go ahead and take our first steps into Glenwood Town. And we are officially here in the Tonid region. I, I I don't even know how I'm gonna end up pronouncing that. I feel like I'm just gonna end up calling it the donut region. Oh, look, it's our parents. Yo, Dad and I were just about to go to the store in Choco Town to get a few things. Oh, I almost forgot. Professor Willow called earlier and asked that you come by his lab today. Okay, well, I'm definitely down to go check out Professor Willow's lab. So what do you guys say? We go ahead and make our way over there. What's really cool is that they seem to have given us both a mom and dad in this. So maybe our dad will push our mom into cooking us some breakfast before we head out. This is a statue of a Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. Those were the starter Pokemon offering in Tunud until Professor Willow imported new ones. What the heck? This guy just straight up just like wiped the Johto starters and was like, nah, I'm just gonna bring in Pokemon from Sinnoh is what it seemed. And that actually seems really cool. Professor Willow lets you choose from five. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and find Professor Willow's lab because apparently we'll be able to choose from five different starter Pokemon. And I gotta tell you guys, that is a lot of choices. That's a big choice for us. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah, you made it. I was getting worried you wouldn't show up. I believe you just got your trainer's license yesterday. So I'm here to give you your very own Pokemon companion. This machine has five Pokeballs in it. Pick whichever, okay? I, I I will pick whichever one I want. Thank you so much, Professor Willow. Now, I'm very excited to choose our Pokemon partner. So let's go ahead and see who the five Pokemon that are being offered here in this adventure are. I'm actually a little bit nervous to see which Pokemon they are. And you know what? Oh my goodness, it's a Turtwig! A Chimchar, a Piplup, a Shinx, and a Ryolu. So these are all really, really good Pokemon that... I've actually had the chance to use before throughout my adventures. As you guys know, I've used the Ryolu, I've used the Shinx, I've used a Turtwig quite a bit. Turtwig, you know, evolving into Grottle and Torterra has to be my favorite line. So that comes down to Chimchar and Piplup. And if you guys know, I've been feeling a little 
a little bit uh fiery lately so with that guys yes we're gonna go ahead and choose chimchar and with that we're gonna go ahead and give our chimchar a nickname i think chimchar is gonna be a great addition to our team as well as a really good starter if you guys know i've been having a bit of trouble finding fire types so we might as well start with one we're also gonna go ahead and call this pokemon lanky and i'm actually calling it lanky after the donkey kong series if you guys know lanky kong i thought that fits you know our little chimchar quite well especially once chimchar begins to evolve it looks a little more lanky you know the more it gets older and starts evolving and doing all these crazy things with that though guys we're looking quite good to continue on our way he just told us that this guy right here with the blue hair will heal us up if we need to but lucky for us lanky's still at full health so lanky's the fire type it has the ability blaze it's a timid nature oh it's actually pretty decent has a good special attack so you know what we'll go ahead and make the most of it i feel like you always got to make the most of it with whichever pokemon you know you get as your teammate with that guys we have added our first pokemon to our team and i'm super excited to build a team around our chimchar excuse me young man it seems like there's quite a ruckus down this route my eyes weren't what they once was unfortunately so i can't really tell for sure but i thought i should give you a heads up what a nice old man thanks for the heads up old man let's go ahead and check out what the ruckus is all about then we find ourselves a potion you guys got to look for every potion that you can here and let's see what exactly is going on uh, go on shoot let, let us pass pika pika pee oh okay so it looks like something's going on here with pikachu and our dad I guess our dad was fighting Pikachu, you know, a little hand-on-hand -hand combat, and the Pikachu has attacked us with that, guys. Here we go, Rodri versus uh, Red Scarf Pikachu. All right, I have no idea who Red Scarf Pikachu is, but regardless of that, we're going to go ahead and take it on. Our first battle is going to be up against a level 2 Pikachu. Let me go for the scratch. Ooh, that actually did quite a bit already. Now, I would actually try to catch this little Red Scarf Pikachu, but as you guys know, I don't really have any Pokeballs yet, so it's not like I can just go ahead and start throwing them at this guy. For now, we're just going to have to KO him. He really... Yep, all right. L let's see if we can shake out of this paralysis. Watch this Pikachu just like destroy me while i'm just you know while our lanky is just paralyzed i feel like these types of things are gonna happen who knows there is so much going on here in the tuned region that i'm excited to just you know explore it i feel like the best time for me going through an adventure is when i don't really know what the heck i'm doing and i end up finding my way through the right path you know that's probably the most fun that you can have when you actually figure out that you're going in the right direction let's see what our uh, mom has to say Rotary, that was fantastic. You're an amazing battler. I had a feeling Professor Willow would be giving you a Pokemon, so me and your father got you some presents. Ooh, presents. I'll take them. Let's see what our mom got us. All right, our mom got us some running shoes. Now, I gotta say, you know, running shoes don't seem like much, but in the Pokemon world, when apparently you can't run without shoes and your characters walk like a mile per hour, you know, running shoes definitely do come in handy. And it looks like, wow, the XP share already too. So our father has gone ahead and given us the XP share. And I'm excited for that. So it looks like he's got some batteries for our clock. I think I'm just going to go ahead and set the clock at like a random time. I'm just going to go ahead and set it at like midnight or at noon. I think noon's a really good time. You know, lunchtime. Who wouldn't just want to start their day off during lunchtime? With that though, it looks like we have obtained our items from our parents. So he's like, he's like, we better head home now before that crazy Pikachu comes back. Our dad is super terrified. You know, even though we just like beat up the Pikachu, our dad's like, nah, you know what? Once the Pikachu start attacking, that's when I like to call it a day and go home. I don't know about your mom if she wants to stay out here in this patch of grass. Personally, I'm going to make my way out of here. You know, head back home. Maybe just, you know, throw on some Netflix, have a nice little dinner. It sounds like our dad knows what he's doing. I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, though, before we go any further. Because there is still quite a bit for us to do today. Now, if I haven't mentioned to you guys, I have never played through Pokemon Glaze before. So this is my first time playing through this adventure. And I'm really excited for it. I know that a lot of you guys were looking forward to Pokemon Glaze. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It's much appreciated. And it really, really helps the series. So with that, it looks like we bumped into a Rattata. What the heck? All right, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on going, though. It's kind of funny that we're just, like, coming through. What the heck? Who, who is this? Hello? Hey, you there. I heard that there was a Pikachu around here. Uh, maybe, man, but I think I kind of scared him off. He probably just ran off. Uh, in that case, who are you? 
Uh, my name's Rodri, nice to meet- Well, my name's Percy, and this is my partner, Cyndaquil. Oh, cool, you have a Cyndaquil. I like seeing Cyndaquils, you know? Whenever I see a Cyndaquil, it brings me back to the days. That's it, Cyndaquil! Uh-oh, oh, wait, 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 what's going on here? Here we go, Rodri versus Percy. So let's go ahead and take on Percy and his Cyndaquil, then. We'll see what, uh, this guy's got in store. Cyndaquil's gonna be level 5, so this looks to be our rival battle. So I guess whatever was going on with that Pikachu... You know, that's, uh, that's between our dad and Red Scarf Pikachu, you know? Whatever trouble our dad got into with that Red Scarf Pikachu, I wouldn't want to be in his position. That looked like a tough spot to be in. All right, let's go ahead and take down the Cyndaquil then. Uh, you know, since I am a fire type, it's probably a little bit tougher to take this guy down. I think one more scratch should do the job, though. With that, guys, the Cyndaquil went down. Come on, we got this in the bag. We grew a couple levels. Let's see what this guy Percy has to say, because I don't know much about him, actually. I don't know anything about him. We got 200 for winning. It's kind of funny. His hair actually looks like a Cyndaquil. Yowzers, you're tough. You'll definitely be a worthy rival for me. Since that Pikachu's gone, I'll head to Ocean View City. Ooh, Ocean View City. Now, that actually sounds like a really good place. I believe our dad actually did mention Ocean View City, so that's probably a very important location that we're gonna need to keep in mind in order to continue on. All right, with that, let me go ahead and heal up one more time before we go any further, because there's probably gonna be a route. There's probably gonna be Pokemon coming at us. There's probably gonna be trainers. Who knows? There could be a Red Scarf Pikachu just waiting to jump out at us in the grass. You know, if you guys ever see a red scarf Pikachu in a patch of grass, just take off running. I, I hear they're really, really scary. Oh, a Rattata. That's all they have on this route. Just a bunch of Rattata. And you know, what I've noticed so far, it looks like they're going to have a very big variety of Pokemon in this game, which I think is really, really cool. I am all aboard when they bring Sinnoh Pokemon into, you know, all these different regions. I think that's really, really cool. And it looks like it's been happening here in the Tonid region. Looks like Professor Willow really likes Sinnoh as well. So by all means. Also, we learned Ember. Very cool. With that, though, let's keep on going, though. And let's see if we'll be able to make our way to the next town. What is this path? Is there going to be, like, an item up here? I don't want to miss any items as well. Glenwood Town, Choco Town. So we are headed in the right direction. Oh, this is actually, like, a really, really pretty first route. I'm kind of surprised. With that, we have made it, but there seems to be a sign here. So let's take a look at the world map. World map. Okay, so this is... Th okay, wait. The Ocean View City is here. This is a really, really big world map. What is this? Evergreen Town, Cyanwood City. Oh, wait, Olivine City? Okay, this is Johto. This is Johto. So apparently, Johto is somehow next to the Donut region. So we might be going to Johto as well. I guess that could be in store for us, guys. And that could be a really, really great time. I can't remember the last time. You know, I, I, I went to Johto. I could definitely use a trip to Johto. I think that would be a lot of fun. Also, I'm going to just knock out this Rattata. It's probably better we get as much XP as possible anyways, since we only have one Pokemon as of now. Hopefully, once we get into some of the bigger routes and some of the longer routes, we'll be able to bump into a couple stronger Pokemon that we'll be able to add to our team. With that, guys, welcome to Choco Town. So it looks like we have officially made it here. What's going on? Many trainers wonder where the Pokemart is. Our town is too small for one, so we just have the local general store in the middle of town. Oh, very cool. So I guess this is just a little small town. I like that. Hey, how's it going, Nurse Joy? Do you notice I just got my Pokemon Lanky? Wait. You're saying I'm looking Lanky? No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking. That's the nickname. That's the nickname, Nurse, Nurse Joy. Ah, I can never catch a break with these Nurse Joy guys. I can never catch a break. With that, though, let's keep exploring Choco Town. It looks like they have a statue of a Mew, which looks really cool. It's a statue of a Pokemon Mew. Yeah, clearly, it's Mew. Wait, I wonder if this girl over here has anything to do with this. I think your statue of Mew is incredible. Did you know that Mew is believed to have been the first Pokemon? That is pretty cool. I definitely do believe that. Let's keep looking around here, though, because you never know what we'll be able to find. It looks like this is the store. So let's see what they're going to be selling here. Potions. Yes. Let me go ahead and actually stock up on a couple of these. We already have a little bit of Poke Cash, so we might as well buy a couple potions. It looks like they also have a lot of really good items here for this to be the first shop. That's actually quite impressive. So let's go. Wow. Okay. I do not have... Any 
enough Pokemon money for that. Let's go ahead and get out of here then. Yeah, they are selling some really expensive stuff in there. And let's see what else is going on here in Choco Town. We're supposed to look for the Inventor. So we have to figure out where exactly the Inventor is so we can get our Pokedex. If it weren't for the Inventor, apparently he's a good guy. So if anything, he's probably running around here like helping people and actually, you know, doing good for this town. This must be it. The Inventor's Lab. So let's head inside then and see if we can meet with the Inventor. Hello? Hey, how's it going, guys? Looking for the Inventor here. Of course, it's this guy. Hey, if I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Don't disturb me while I'm working. Oh, okay, Inventor. I'll try not to disturb you, my man. I'm sorry about that. You'll be Rodri, correct? Professor Willow sent me an email a short while ago, and I have your Pokedex. Here you go. With that, guys, we went ahead and obtained our Pokedex. I, I like how it tells us the colors. Like, oh, shiny red Pokedex. Yay. With that, though, it's actually feeling like the beginning of another adventure. We got ourselves the Pokedex. We got ourselves the Pokeballs. And we're getting asked for a favor. There's some wonderful ruins in the Milkshake Swamp that I'd like to observe. But I'd feel much safer with an escort. Would you mind coming with me? Uh, that actually sounds like a really good time. So let's go ahead and actually go with him to Milkshake Swamp, I believe is what he just said. If the names for these places are really, really great. I'm gonna have to see what other, like, food-related, you know, names I can find as we go throughout the adventure. That's really cool. I like things like that. That makes the adventure so much more fun. I'm a firm believer that, you know, the little things do matter, and the little things do, you know, make the bigger things. So, you know, you gotta take it for what it is and appreciate every little bit of a game. With that, though, it looks like there's not much else to do around here on the beach. I'm kind of surprised. I thought I was going to find a couple items there or something. With that, though, let's go ahead and make our way into Milkshake Swamp. Roger, you won't believe this, but these guys won't let me get into the Milkshake Swamp. Nobody enters the swamp. Go do something else instead. Uh, what? Still praying on innocent travelers, Team Fusion. Oh, boy. Here we go. Team Fusion is what they're called. So now, at least we know the name of the team that we're going to be going up against. I've already run off the rest of your gang in the swamp already, so you have no reason to stay here. Of course. Oh, who is this guy, though? If you had any need to protest, my dark rye is itching for a battle. This guy has a freaking dark rye? Okay. Okay. Come on. Who are you? Who are you? Did those grunts harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm still wondering who this guy is. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake, and I'm a member of the Tunod Elite Four. Oh my goodness, so Blake of the Tunod Elite Four. That's actually really, really cool. Just out of curiosity, why are you both going into the Milkshake Swamp? It's not exactly the most fun place to be. Well, let me tell you, man. I met this guy called the Inventor. He wants to run in there. I don't know, man. If, if he's got milkshakes in there, I'm going. If that's why they call it the Milkshake Swamp, get out of my way. I don't care if it's Team Fusion there. I'm pushing through. Allow me to escort you there myself to make sure I frighten them off. I'm sure Rodri wouldn't want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. You've just begun as a trainer. Continue to keep striving for your dreams and rest assured they'll come true. One day, we may even battle. You know what, Blake? I'll keep that in mind. One day, we may even battle. With that, guys, it looks like Blake and the Inventor have headed into Milkshake Swamp. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Leave me a comment. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.